KSBY's 10th annual Season of Hope Food and Toy Drive is a chance to help out those in need during the upcoming holiday season. Let's get to Richard Gearhart, who is live at the Coastal Communities Physicians Network in Arroyo Grande. He's collecting donations right now. Richard, how's it going? That'll just sound like a grumbling stomach. Hey, Nina, it's going great out here. We are right out in front of CCPN in Arroyo Grande. We have lots of people out here, lots of folks from CCPN. Uh, hello, everybody. It's super festive. Uh, you know, we have this set up here, I've got to say. We've got Christmas lights, we have cookies, we have hot chocolate, we have Christmas carols in the background. We're actually in the middle of the parking lot. Somebody's trying to drive by here, but we're going we're gonna to make them hold on for just a minute. We're also joined by a, a couple of uh, special guests here. Garrett Olson, who everybody recognizes because you've been here, uh, you know, a, a lot with us from the food bank. And then also Jay Hyatt from Hall Hyatt & Conley, a law firm in the area, and he has a special check presentation. So uh, first of all, how, why did you guys get involved in this? And and then uh, we want to hear all about the uh, the money, and uh, and we're going to hand it over to Garrett here. Um, well, we've been in the community for 30 plus years. Uh, we think it's important to give back. Thrilled to be able to make a donation that we know is going to stay in our community. Um, and I didn't realize a thousand dollars gets me seven thousand meals. So really impressed with that. Yeah, and that's that's amazing, right? Because I, and that's one of the reasons that we really like to have the financial donations. I mean, we we'll certainly everybody will accept will accept the food when people have the drop offs, but uh, it, it does make a big difference, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. So uh, our message is: if you already have nutritious food in your pantry and you want to donate come down and bring it uh, to, and put it in a barrel. If you don't, make a cash donation. It allows us to purchase food to augment what we have in our in our warehouse and make sure that we purchase stuff that meets our nutritional standards. And so Jay is making a huge difference. 7,000 7, meals right here. That's there amazing. So thank you. thank you guys very much. And we will be here all the way through about 7 o'clock. So if you'd like to come down, we've got a couple of other donations. People are ready to drop off some toys and food to us as well. So we're going to send it back to you for now, Nina. We'll check in with you a little bit later in the show. All right, Richard, thank you. If you are unable to donate with Richard, don't worry. There are 62 drop-off locations in San Luis Obispo County and 46 drop-off locations in Santa Barbara County collecting donations daily. All contributions will remain on the Central Coast to help make your neighbor's holiday season brighter. Donations are being collected now through December 17th.